So finally, let's talk a little bit about portability and the ability to target kind of what we call three screens. The XMA framework was designed from the ground up to be cross-platform. Our APIs are designed to be compatible as possible across these devices. And really what this means for you as a developer is smaller time investment and target more sockets. And really what we're talking about and what's interesting about this is it's not necessarily having the same game run across all of these devices. It's allowing you, providing underlining technology that moves seamlessly across these platforms and lets you focus on the game differences that are going to exist, as well as how all of these devices connect to each other to provide a compelling game experience. We actually also have tooling in place to help you with that. So you'll see uh, there that there's actually a way to create a, a copy of a project for a different platform from within Visual Studio. The thing that I mentioned earlier was XNA Framework Profiles. So really what this was designed to do was to start laying the groundwork to communicate how you target platforms with XNA Game Studio. So right now we have these two concepts, reach and high depth. And right now this is very graphic centric. So Sean's going to talk about this a little more. But really, when you target the reach platform, you're designing for compatibility across all three devices. Windows Phone 7 series, Xbox 360, and Windows PCs. When you go to target something like high def, you're really targeting what we call platform showcase features. So these may be graphic APIs or functionality that is only available on Xbox 360, for example, or devices that are only available on Xbox 360, for example. So really kind of driving home a little bit that you as a developer can choose, do I want to target the broad base of devices out there, or do I really have custom showcase experiences that I want to focus on? So with that, I will do one more demo for everybody. So this is a very simplistic game. I walk around, can jump. That was kind of a failure there that I couldn't jump on the platform the first time. But uh, once I hit the exit, I win the game. So that's the game running on my Windows PC with a keyboard and mouse. But what about something like the Xbox 360? So if I move over here, you'll see under my Xbox and my game library, I have that same game running. So if I start this up, you'll see that it's the same game. So I can jump, collect the gems, and get to the exit. So that's two of our platforms, but what about the third one? So on Windows Phone 7 series, we also got that game running on there as well. So what you'll see here is the platformer game actually running with the same code base, but what I've done is I've actually gone in and changed the level layout. So on Windows and Xbox 360, I've used landscape because those are landscape devices, the TV, the monitor, that sort of thing. On Windows Phone 7 series, I chose to make it a portrait experience. There's also not an Xbox 360 controller or a keyboard on this device. So I've actually wired it up to the accelerometer to move across the screen. And when I touch the screen, I actually jump. And while I'm, using, while I'm using the same game to demonstrate this, again, I'll reinforce that this is more about having great technology that you can move across these platforms, not necessarily providing the same game experience across all these platforms. So, so really kind of to sum a little bit of that up, with XNA Game Studio 4.0, we have a really powerful platform. We have great managed code games working today across Xbox 360. You saw a few games running on Windows Phone 7 series, also on managed code, all working and, and, and having great performance today. On Windows Phone 7 series, we've really engineered a powerful gaming platform for everyone to develop on. With product, product, 
sorry, productivity, we really are providing you focused on being a game developer. Not focusing on the plumbing, not focusing on the technology, but really it's about you as a game developer being a game developer. And we have great tooling with XNA Game Studio 40 to make you more productive. And then portable, really being able to target more platforms easily. And again, focus on the differences that exist in your game, not the underlying technology. 